And so today we come again with our hands open and our heads bowed to celebrate the offering of Christ again in these unusual times. Some of us have brought bread and something to drink. Some, like the crowd in John's Gospel, have only gathered and only have ourselves to offer. All are welcome and invited for this is the Lord's table, not Alamo's table, but Jesus' table. And he has invited us to come if we intend to repent and go forth living new lives in his name. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Let us live in expectation of that day and truly be his people in the midst of the world until he comes. And let us celebrate his love, remembering the night Jesus gave himself up for us. He took bread, gave thanks to God his Father, and broke it. As he gave it to his disciples, he said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, in love and forgiveness. Do this often and remember me. Pour out your spirit on our hunger, our thirst, our offerings of bread and drink. Allow them to become the body and blood of Christ for us and allow us to become the body and blood of Christ in the world around us. We look to this day of Christ's return when we may feast with him as his disciples did. O oh Lord, we pray by your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to our world in these unique times. Now please, take the bread, the body of Christ, and eat, and know that your hunger and life may be fulfilled or, if you do not have a piece of bread, open your hands and receive the spiritual bread of life, for it quenches the hunger of life. Now, as we drink together and celebrate the sacrifice of Jesus, May we remember the covenant he made with us, and we make with him to be his people. If you have nothing to sip, place a hand on your head or heart, and know that Christ wants to quench the desires of your heart and mind. Having experienced the love and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us join in the prayer he taught us to give us direction and empower our lives day by day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 